Hey, what's up guys? Sharp Tony here, and today I want to go over something I get asked pretty frequently and something I've kind of wanted to address, and that's going to be what is the cheapest armor to level with? Because honestly, a lot of people level so fast they outlevel their armor really, really easily. So I'll take you through a few armors that I think are going to be very, very beneficial to leveling from low to end game. But let's take a look at my first piece of armor. First one I'm going to show you is the Carbonum armor. It's all store-bought components. It starts at level 1. Here we have a level 12 plate, but you could buy plates up until, I believe, I think you could even buy 200 plates in the store, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that one. If I'm wrong, let me know down below. But what we could do here is it's very easy to trade skill. Watch this. Bang. Bang. And now we're about that action. You could get this on at level 1, literally. <laughs> this piece of armor and it's great for low levels because it adds to your N NCU which is going to help with buffing and everything and for the casting props it adds to nano and nano initiative it's super super inexpensive and very easy to make so that's going to be the first one I'm going to suggest to you is the carbonum armor you could just go into the trade skill section of any thing in your fr of any freaking basic store or any store in general and go pick up the components and boom you can make yourself a full set of armor and I'll show you a higher set. I believe I have a set on me. Yeah, there you go. This is 61. See, the mods get pretty good. The ACs are decent, and it's cheap. So let's move on. The next two armors I want to show you are both Shadowlands trade skilled armors. They're both really, really easily gotten. One with a little bit of farming and just a minimal, minimal amount of credits. And I'm talking like 1 million a piece, which by the time you could use it, you're going to be able to farm on your own anyway. But the first piece of armor is completely farmable, completely easy. I'll leave a. Uh, guide in the description it's the crepus crepuscule armor pardon my first pronunciation of it but it comes in infantry control support and extermination i hope i didn't miss any there and the acs are pretty good and the mods are really nice it's like mini ai armor this came out when the shadowlands came out which is it's honestly i love using it at low levels because you could farm the stuff off high athlans while you're killing them in the shadowlands so that's one of the benefits and the other piece of armor I want to look at is tier armor, which is just amazing armor for two reasons. One, it's really easy to make. I'll leave that guide also down below. You just have to farm a few insignias and a million credits to two million credits a piece, depending on the piece. This is trade skilled from Job armor. And it's just really, really solid armor. The ACs are pristine and it levels with you, which is one of the most important things. It starts at quality level 100 and goes all the way up to 160. When you can get your second tier armor, which goes from 160 to 220, and then your faithful or your chosen armor, which goes from 220 to 300. And the mods are great, and it's just farming, really, to get the stuff. Because if you are a new player, and you're start trying to start out and just get really good armor, it's great. It's not going to be as good as AI armor. And some OFAB armor is going to be better in some pieces, but this is honestly just as solid as could be for the most part. Although, I will say... Sometimes the OFAB is better, but that you could farm that as well, and that could be good for leveling. But I would more so suggest this than that because it levels with you. You could take it as far as you want. And the OFAB is really not that great unless you upgrade it, and then it becomes no drop. So something to keep in mind. Another great set of mid-level armor is going to be your Predator armor. You could farm this off of the freaking Predator bosses in Elysium around a Saber's Cradle, I believe it's called. And the mods are great. Some of these, the helmet gives, or the circlet gives crit. You get evades and nano pool and body dev on every single one, which is awesome. There's a little bit of nano resist on each, and each of them adds a little special. This one has a skill lock modifier. To buy it might be a little pricey these days just because of how everybody's ruining the economy, but I would highly suggest this for tanks. You're going to get your extra HP in there. For evade professions, you have your extra evades, you get your extra HP. The The ACs are pretty decent. They're not incredible, but they're not bad either. I use Predator on almost every single one of my Shadowlands tunes. I mean, on every single one of my paid tunes, and it works out pretty well. As to not leave out my Fruber Duber friends, cause that's, that's what you are. You're Fruber Duber and super freaking Fruby. What I'd suggest after you get out of your Carbonum armor, try this Cass armor out. You could start, it starts around level, what, 30-ish? Yeah, somewhere in that range. You normally won't see it too much lower. But here, I'll show you what it looks like. The helmet looks amazing. 
Honestly, the whole set just looks amazing. What, well, I don't know, even know why I have those on. I don't have a chest right now, but the ACs on this armor are pretty great. The mods are really nice, too. And checking stamina and strength as the requirements are really, really, really nice. Just because of the ease of execution there. So, I'd give that a try. I'd also give Metallic Mantis armor a look. And then once you move on past that... And this could go for my paid friends as well. You might want to take a look at this nice reactive armor here. It comes in every slot, and it's just really nice. The mods are great. The ACs are phenomenal. And they all add HP, which is why I have it on here. This is my kind of defensive agent. Kind of. Kind of. So, the reactive armor, and for Omnis, it's proactive armor. Neutral could wear either. But paid, Frub, I would look at that once you get to title level 5. So now we're in the upper echelons of the armor we will be using, and the reactive is just freaking hot. And the burning question is, what do you wear when you get to higher levels? At that point, you might want to start farming some OFAB armor in the battle stations, or you might want to get some Mies armor. You can get it at really low levels too, which, it'll work from literally any level, but at the higher levels, the mods are better. This is The ones I'm showing you are pretty low level, but they're, they're great pieces of armor, and I promise you that. Take a look into Mies, it goes up to, you'll see probably about like 260. And now they do have a cloak, but most people aren't going to be able to afford that. You could farm the Mies off of cyborgs and stuff like that. It's it's really, really simple to get. But for my paid friends, what do I suggest once you get to the higher levels? Because Frub is easier for a higher level armor. Reactive, some Mies, you know, you're good. But I will say get your OFAB, get your tier 3, and then get some Dust Brigade armor, and get some Beast armor. I'm not going to link any of that because you could just search that yourself by the time you get to that level you're gonna know what that is but those are my suggestions that's gonna be you follow those armors you could farm all of them and it's gonna it's, well you could farm the cast too you just need to farm notum chips and fragments don't forget to check your guides on all this stuff too but it's really really simple stuff to farm and i guarantee you you will still have a really solid tune at the end of the day so keeping it cheap keeping it freaking functional and keeping it what's up bang bang about that action baby peace out on these nuts